what could be more enjoyable than a weekend getaway with the kids in the back seat of the car as you drive past the sun-kissed beaches of Suo Oshiba. Suo Oshiba is a place that's very popular for family and casual couples. So whether you're looking for something to entertain the kids or maybe go on a date somewhere, this place has a lot to offer. So let me recommend a few of our favorite spots to you. Let's head to our first place, which is the most popular spot for people with kids. Our first stop is the very colorful and lively Power Beach Cafe, a perfect place for American and Hawaiian fast foods. This place has a pretty extensive menu. If you're looking for burgers, really great burgers here. So they have a set of burger menus. They even have plate lunches, for example, the garlic shrimp plate lunch and also an assortment of like milkshakes, cocktails, mocktails, shaved ice drinks, and pretty much anything that you could want. Plus it has a family friendly atmosphere. So if you have kids, I'm sure they're gonna to wanna to hit the beach after they eat. It's definitely a good place to eat and play. The owner recommended these two items, the fruit acai bowl and honey herb soda. The cute edible flowers are a nice touch. That's really good. <laughs> I'd almost say that this is more like a dessert item, but there's like nothing bad in here, so it's all fruit. Fruit, acai sauce, and then granola, so this is good for any meal, pretty much. Anything with a sign? I guess it's my duty to take the first bite, but this is so big, I'm not sure how to get it in my mouth. It's actually kind of hot too, so... Oh man, it's got bacon in it. Oh, they know my weakness. Okay, let's see. That's a burger. Oh my god. That's delicious. No complaints here, it's a good burger. Our next destination is conveniently located next to Shonan Beach and is a pudding shack. k Site specializes in homemade custard puddings and other pudding-centric desserts. It's delicious. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, so we are enjoying some homemade pudding, um, which is a little bit different. Um, I think in America, when we think of pudding, we think of custard or like the chocolate pudding or like the instant jello custard chocolate puddings that you can make. But here in Japan, it's more like flan, which would be like a Spanish or Portuguese dessert made from eggs and then caramelized sugar. So it's simple, but it's really delicious. Mm. And their pudding is really nice because it has no additives, so it's as clean as you can get. Mm. Delicious pudding. Perhaps while you are enjoying all of the good eats and carb-induced food coma, you might want to stop at Kanoa, our island's newest Airbnb with a distinct Hawaiian flair. This newly renovated home is slick, clean, comfortable, and has all the trimmings. Yes, trim number one. <laughs> Shower.
There is a dining room with a fully functional kitchen here if you prefer to cook for yourselves, or the master is more than happy to cook dinner and breakfast for you as part of a meal plan. Welcome to the kitchen. It is fully stocked. Like everything that you need to cook is here. There's pots, there's pans, there's utensils, there's a rice cooker, there is even a shaved ice machine because yeah, you're not going to be staying on this island without having some kakigori. Come on. This Airbnb is located near a convenience store and a supermarket, all within five minutes walking distance. Welcome to Okonomiyaki Makichan, the most popular little local dive where you can try the best of mama's cooking. And what I mean by mama's home cooking, I'm talking about things like ramen, okonomiyaki, teishoku, tonkatsu, things like that. And what makes this place so popular, aside from it being super delicious, it's super cheap. This place has some of the best sashimi I've ever had on the island. This little set right here, which is like the Thai Tai Shoku, uh, is 850 yen. And I mean, to make things even better, the head cook here, he's a fisherman. He catches his own fish himself. Mm. Also recommended is our popular soul food, okonomiyaki. This is a must try food if you're newly visiting Japan. Well, we cleaned our plates. Everything is delicious. And this chef, he's been in business for 22 years. So he's been a big part of this community. And uh, this type of restaurant, it's kind of like the place where everybody knows everybody. And he's been serving the same customers for 22 years. So it's a really kind of tight knit community. And we all know that the food is good. So highly recommend it. Needless to say, he is also super friendly. Time to wash all that salty, savory food down with something sweet. You scream, I scream, we all scream for gelato. Haukalima Hosi provides homemade gelato in a variety of delicious flavors. Okay, we'll have a, a regular size Nikon, small chocolate cone. Okay, there you go. Chocolate. Mm. Oh, okay, thank you. Let's get a Mikan gelato. Mikan, Mikan gelato. Yeah. <laughs> Give it a try. Mmm. Yeah. Tastes like orange. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Delicious, cold, fresh gelato. Mm. Because it's Sua Oshima, of course, the. Um, Signature flavor is Mekon, which, I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Orange is always delicious. <laughs> How's yours, kid? Good. Mm. You got a chocolate mustache. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Getting around the island might be a challenge without wheels, but a super snazzy motorbike could fix that. Tour biking and joyriding are popular couples activities here. Welcome to Oku, a Cambodian restaurant found on our humble little island. This is a really nice stop for people who are motorcycling or tour biking around the island. The owner, Pise, is an avid tour biker himself, so it's definitely a nice place to stop and get some food before you hit out the road again.
While the building is a renovated Japanese home, Pise brings a distinct ethnic flair from his home country of Cambodia with him. His fabulous food is a mixture of Cambodian and Japanese cuisine. I'm excited. Tom Yum noodles. Oh, it smells nuclear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not bad. Yeah. Got a kick, though. Mm. Ooh, that's nice. All right, rice noodles. Mm. Delicious. Okay, so this is something that you can order by itself or with the set menu, but this is Cambodian ginger chicken. This is really popular here and it's really delicious and he put chili sauce all over it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm gonna take a bite. It's actually my husband's not mine, but I'm gonna take a bite. Mmm. 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 That's really good. After ginger. Of strings of ginger and it's so nice. Sorry, I'm gonna eat like half of this. Um. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I better give it back to you. I'm gonna eat the whole thing. That's delicious. Delicious food, though, man. That soup is. This is the best. Like, I could eat this every day. It's such an interesting flavor. There's also an interesting assortment of imported drinks from Cambodia worth trying, such as the bird's nest juice. Trust me, it's more delicious than it sounds. So what we've shown you today on this video is just a few of the activities that you can do as a family or as kind of a casual dating couple. But it's only a small bit of what we actually have on the island, so we encourage you to check out some of our other videos for more ideas. Let our aloha fill your heart and our delicious food fill your soul on your next visit here to Sua Oshima. And from all of us on the island to you wherever you may be in the world, thank you so much for watching and we look forward to seeing you again. Also a special shout out and thank you to all the restaurant and cafe owners who let us film on this episode. If you like this video and want to learn more about our beautiful island Sua Oshima, please subscribe, like, and comment. We will get back to you as soon as possible and are happy to answer any questions that you may have. So until the next time, our next adventure, our next eating out, <laughs> see you. Bye-bye. <laughs>